Hello, welcome to Life on Pig Grow, and it's Andrew here, and it's a Saturday, and we're planting a damson tree, which is just here, dodging the showers, so if something starts to pour down, you hear me shriek and run to the greenhouse, you know why, because I'm not in my waterproofs, and I don't want to get damp, because I'm at that age where it gets into your bones. So, let's have a see how to plant a damson tree, and where we're planting it. Plant the damson in the corner here. This is going to be a graveled area sooner or later, hopefully sooner rather than later. Somewhere for me to sit out. I also have some metal raised beds. I'm going to invest in some of them. Over here I've got my raised beds that I've made myself and the rain is just starting now so we're going to get going. So if we go down here, stepping over all the stuff, you'll, stay, you'll see down here a whopping great big piece of concrete which I've just pulled out of that hole. Didn't know it was there, I have no idea where it's from, but it's old concrete. So let's get on, we planted. So there's the hole, okay? And I've dug it, so it's exactly the same depth as my root ball. How do I do that? Well, it's really simple. We take our spade and we measure it up against it. Look, perfect, exactly the same. And I'm gonna pop it in now. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna face the tree. What I mean by face the tree is find the best side for it. There you go, that's about it. There. there we go. And the best side means not all the foliage is pointing in one direction, or worse still, the tree isn't leaning. So, there you are, it's in the ground now. Now I could add mycorrhiza, but there's already mycorrhiza in the pot, it's been a pot. So what I'm gonna do is just backfill. Like so. And if I'm blocking the camera, apologies. There's only me filming these. Pulling out any roots from the soil because you can guarantee that those roots are probably weeds. So we might as well get them out while we're going. We don't want anything competing with this. That's uh, yeah. cooch grass. Right, pain. Recognise that. Root any day of the week. And the reason why I get it in the ground is it's been in a pot now for a year and it's not happy. It's a very vigorous tree, this, that I've got. Uh, mainly because it's more exposed at the top. And now I'm going to do is I'm going to heal it in. So I'm going to go around, make sure it's in. You don't have to be soft with it. In it goes, back down, tickle it down, make sure it's all in. And there we go, one tree in the ground, make sure it's level. You have to do that by eye. Let's have a take a look at it from a bit further away so you can see if it's level. So as you can see, the tree's in, you've got to say, do it by eye. So is, it, is it level? Is it, is it straight? And if it's not, you just get your foot in, gently tease it across like so the earth back in. That should theoretically be straighter than it was. Nothing straight in this garden. Nothing straight in nature. As you can see it goes into free. I've trained it that way. So there's my damson tree. I'm looking forward to this. I want it in a sheltered location. It's on a vigorous rootstock. It's on M25. It will shoot up but it's fine. It's in the corner of the veg patch. It'll just give me shade uh, and I want this bad bed to be a bit more shaded uh, because we do get quite exposed up here so that'll do really well 10 feet away on this side there's going to be uh, a green gauge which we'll plant on another day but I've got more trees to plant I've got to go and plant a crab apple now up in the top of the garden so that's it that's my damson in yay uh, like I said there's gonna be a green gauge over there this is all gonna be graveled I'm going to have one, two, three large beds and then I'm going to invest in some of those metal raised beds and they're going to go on the gravel. Uh, and the reason for that is I want this to be a more kind of potting on, little table, sit out in the sunshine, just outside the greenhouse. I've got it all in my head uh, and that's what's going to happen. Uh, I've got some tyres there, they're going to become floral planters or even, God forbid, I'll pl plant carrots in them. So that's it for this week. The heavens are just opening, but I'm still going to give that a good water. Always give new trees a good water. So until next time, it's goodbye from me. Bye-bye.